Uh, thanks very much, Honorable uh, MC. Uh, usually, you are told by me whether to see it or not. No, that's why I say so. You don't. Okay. So you, you may be seated. Thank you. <laughs> The MSC, Babuntoli, the National Deputy Commissioner Masimula, the representatives of the Mayor of Etiagwini, the Chief Whip. Provincial Commissioner, Divisional Commissioners that are here, Kwanazi, uh, the Deputy Head uh, of the Hawks, Mamo Musigeti, Makala Bank Patsolo Guafira, when you my Hawks in the trouble. Bablinda. The acting uh, divisional commissioner detectives, but also the head of the FCS uh, and generals from here. Yes, about trouble. trouble Just one trouble. And those that are causing trouble must get trouble. Mapoisa, good morning. Good morning, Mapoisa. Mapoisa, good morning! Morning, Mapoisa! That's fine. That's okay. But Masimula, you put your seven legs of why you are here. Uh, this plan, Operation Tight Grip, was launched October in Puta Tichaba. We had planned to prevent and combat criminal activities. Fortunately, as a member of the South African police, your job is not in the description and prescribed by your minister or by even the president. Your job is prescribed in the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. If you go to Section 205, Sub 3, that tells you what to do as a member of this August organization. Yours is to prevent, is to combat, is to investigate, to make sure that all inhabitants of the land are safe and make sure that you uphold the law, but most importantly, you are enforce the law. That's what the Constitution says. It doesn't say you romance the law. It says you enforce the law. Now, enforcing, <laughs> enforcing means enforcing. You enforce the law as you instructed by the Constitution. So, whoever asks me or ask whoever why police enforce the law, you read your 205 of the constitution sub 3 and ask the people who developed this constitution what did they mean by enforcing the law our job as the south african police service is not to create and develop the law is to enforce it so yesterday somebody asked me what are we going to do with brutality of the police now it's not part of you, it's not in the constitution to, to be brutal. You don't have to be brutal. So, but again, it's not on the constitution to let criminals go. It's not on the constitution that when the criminals say, yeah, I mean, I'm about yeah. it's not in the constitution. We must understand that we police under the constitutional dispensation in the Republic of South Africa. We police on the tradition of the human rights. That's why there are things that are developed 
that you continue to work under to make sure that you enforce the law. You must remember that your job is to prevent, to combat, and save. You will have to save. So for you to save is because you are protecting South Africans. General South Africans need to be protected by you. But also you are serving under the human rights tradition. And you are humans as the South African police. So those rights of human beings, they also imply like me. The job that you're supposed to do when you see a member of South African community, a citizen that is under threat, you will have to protect that person. And Section 49 of Criminal Procedure Act instructs you to defend and protect that person. But it doesn't end there. It also instructs you to defend yourself. It continues to say if your life is under threat, you can use a deadly force. It's not me saying that's a word used in the law. We do this with sympathy. We do this with empathy. We do this with an understanding that South Africans must be safe, but members of the, of the service must be also safe. So it's important to understand that. Masimura talks about one issue that we have to deal with very strongly and decisively. The issue of the gender-based violence cannot be swept under the carpet and we cannot forget it. It is one thing that is on the top of the agenda, the top of the menu of the South African police. As you all know, that, that was declared by the president as a second pandemic. Therefore, the call is very straight to all members of the South African police. That is double-edged. When a woman comes to report at the police station that is abused or is threatened by the man, whether that is a husband, whether that is a boyfriend, whether it's an uncle, whether it's a father, whether it's a neighbor, it's not your job at the station as a member of the South African Police Service to tell that woman to go back and negotiate. Maybe there will be peace. It's not your job. Your job is to make a follow-up and arrest the perpetrator. It doesn't matter who the perpetrator is. You are not negotiators. You are arresters. So that's a call we make. Don't send women back and tell them to go negotiate when they report that they are being abused. That woman will come back tomorrow to report again that is being abused. That time she won't come because she'll be dead and you'll be responsible. The blood of that woman will be in your hands. So it's important that you take this as one of the issues that as the members of the South African police, you have to deal with. Don't ask who was, she, who was he, whether it was a father, whether it was an angry, whether it was a boyfriend. Once you begin to abuse the woman, that man would get lost. That's an animal, that's a dog, that's a donkey. So we're not negotiating with donkeys here. Your job is to protect these women. Secondly, don't be funny with women when they come to report. And in Buzela, not your job how short the skate is. You're not a fashion advisor. You're not. Women have right to be free. They are fully fleshed human beings. They don't need any special permission from men to live the life they want to live. So don't do that. Yours is to protect and serve. Ask to the men that are in blue, you have an extra responsibility. That's why they don't carry feather dust. They carry serious stuff. That's why we also give you serious stuff. You're carrying serious stuff. I can see there is serious stuff around you here. Yeah. You go and use that serious stuff when they use. 
when criminals engage you, when the gas circles, it must be clear that it has been engaged with the member of the South African we are not going to come there and pick up the dead body and that dead body is for the police. It must be somebody else. We are not after to bury you here. So, you go. You really do all the work within the law, but you must be very, very tough when it comes to criminals. We have a second pandemic now. We did not plan much for this crime. It has become the crime to undermine the protocols, to undermine the protocols of COVID-19. President has spoken, we have moved to level three. There are serious things that we must be there when you are called to, to deal with. One thing that you have been telling us to go now, I will arrest her. And she will be arrested taken to processes, taken to court, magistrates will decide how much fine is there, but also it is on the regulations that you can be sentenced between a month and six months, or both and the fine. So nobody is going to ask us. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not very happy up to this time, Jula. Uh, Ah, to president the cool means. Cool means all. Good for me. I'm trying to move him. Come back. What we saw yesterday when we went to Mpanga and Richards Bay, I must commend the MEC. Uh, I think that was when we went to those malls. That was hundred percent compliance. It was. It was really good to see hundred percent compliance in those malls of Mpanga and Richards Bay. Uh, maybe today. Because so So and uh, we want to promise them. I'm a fan. I'm going to be here, and we're going to load them. Maybe it would be good to send them to court on the second of January. For now, they must shout as you saw. La Baba said, "Richard, pay the bottle as a best shout and tell you cash." What you know? So we are going to get January two for the appeal and all that. So that would be important. So, these masks have become very much serious. The second thing that is serious, you must go and work on alcohol. On alcohol, as it stands alcohol, there is no sale off, there is no sale on, there is no transportation, there is no dispensation, there is no serving of it in the restaurant. I'm told that in my restaurant, they serve it in the teapot. You think somebody is drinking rooibos and is drinking hukolok. So we want to warn the restaurant people, Ubuti will be there sitting down and ordering tea. If you bring hukolok or tea, we'll close down your business. We'll make sure that law acts and acts decisively to those people that bring the, that break the law. For now, there is no transportation and no transfer of alcohol. Uchwala will stay where it is at the present. There is no next door carrying of alcohol. No alcohol in your boot, no alcohol in your bed, no alcohol in your hand, no alcohol in your pocket. If you find it there, arrest no one who is breaking the law. Alcohol. If you really want to drink, you drink it in your home or you can go next door. You will drink there in your father's and your mother's house. But don't move around here. I heard you, uh, Chief Whip, thanking Amapolisa for dealing with the, with the beach and the crime in the beach. No more. We don't have that uh, uh, problem of dealing with the crime on the beach. There are no beaches here. Nobody goes to the beach. Nobody goes to the lake. Nobody goes to the river. Nobody goes to the dam. Nobody goes to the pool. You go and read it very clear. All those things are shut. All those things. And the parks, no drinking there. No social, nothing gathering, except funerals. And my boys are, you go and look after these funerals. These funerals are super spreaders. 50 people. Once they are 51, you sit on them. Whether about funeral, no They must keep the law. 
because this thing is a killer. This morning, there are 9,580 new infections. And I think 497 deaths. That's 500. That's how, that's how far we have gone. Now we're dying in 500 in 24 hours. So if we cannot be serious about this, we won't have a nation. For the South African police, I know that 21,161 of you, you have been infected. And then we still need to work with you, but protect you and protect yourself. Do all things that you're supposed to do and do them uh, correctly. So it is important. So let's go there and make sure that we work. Let's go there and make the life for criminals a very tough life. There is one thing that they ask me. There are these people called wine testers. There is no tasting of wine here. That is not allowed. That's alcohol. We taste a dollar. Not now. Also, I hear people talking about the 15th that the president has spoken about. Now, they say president said it's the 15th and the teller says no. It's not me saying no. And the president said these things will be reviewed on the 15th. So if the 15th comes and you go to the beach and you go and buy the alcohol or you open your body store, I call that you have to wait until the president comes back to say now you can do it. The, the regulation is very clear there. It says there will be reviews. This thing will be reviewed. So one warning thing to the community. All these arrests, all these fines, they give you a criminal record. They give you a criminal record and you know what criminal record does for your life. So it's important. Apoisa, wish you a new year. Keep on behaving. And those that are few that are not behaving, we must kick them out and not taint our good name. I hear people saying uh, that uh, I'm a poisoner. I don't know how to do it. But I'm not telling you that. Last, last week, I was a man who 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 was a man but you can go to your song, and I born in the church, and I tag you with a child's tongue. So you should start a song. So I'm going to say, 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 I'm going because if you do wrong things, it's easy. It's easy to move your blue to orange. And your orange is not nice. I agree with you, Masimula. Uh, Bob Chula, I'm tired of addressing one component of the law enforcement. I'm tired. Integration must come. All forces must be here. That includes now the South African National Defense Force, of which together with the minister who are working, they will be helping us, especially to those people that they think they know all. As you have seen, two parties that continued to, to, to do nonsense as president was speaking. One of those parties was in Alexandra, one was in Mameloti. I'm very glad that the owners of those joints are both arrested. We are just calling on the magistrates and the prosecutor to to shut them down and never do the business again when break the law. I know in Alawamashu, there are many that are breaking the law. Uh, we'll be visiting them around, guys, and when you break the law, we'll visit you. And after that, it won't be nice. It's not a nice visit. But for now, let's go and experience what we have never experienced before. Not once in life where there was no December 31st. This time, there is no December 31st. December 31st, Shama team, there is no tin hitting yet. By nine, 
every party ulele. Every party is in bed by nine. So it's important to understand that one thing that you'll be doing, people that are breaking the curfew, make sure you lock them in. We are allowed to lock them in. We don't usually we tell them to go home and accompany them home. This time we'll give them home. We will give them our own home. Know that prisons are full. I know that uh, uh, stations are full, but we still have a space. And we'll use that space. It's not our priority to first to arrest you, but if you give us an excuse, if you give us a reason, we shall not hesitate to defend the law, which is our constitutional right. You go and work, enjoy yourselves, work with uh, pleasure, arrest them with smile, be tough, and make sure that you protect the law.